Hey everyone, Sophia here down in Los Angeles at Electronics Arts event and I am joined by MJ Chun and Asia Bowie who are going to show us Sims 3. Hi MJ. Hi. All right, so the first thing we're looking at, the character customization. Do you mind telling us like how this has changed from Sims 2 and what have you added for Sims 3? Absolutely. So one of the coolest things about character customization is how deep you can go, but also how easy it is. So if you're just a player that wants to like click a couple of buttons, make your Sim fat, maybe, or make them really strong, or, you know, with a, a simple slider, you're really making these drastic changes, or you could be really tweaky and get in really deep, and whether it's their skin tone, or obviously their age, you, you really have control. And one of the other things that we absolutely love about the character customization is you can make your hair color of your sim whatever you want it to be and you have control over their roots and their tips and their highlights and it's not just hey my hair my sim is a brunette it's more like wow i want purple in my sims hair i'm going to give her purple highlights and you have the entire color wheel to play with and of course if you're you have your sim take them into the game they get married they have children a lot of the choices you make in here we have genetics and that will carry through as well so that's really cool one of my other favorite parts about it is just you can click around and change the face shape of the sim so easily but then if you want to be in depth you can get in and really sculpt your sim's face so we asked everybody can you make your friends can you make yourself can you make your neighbors can you make celebrities and it's really cool we have this wall of different celebrities and members of the team of, like that we printed out. You walk by, you're like, oh my gosh, that's Hogan, or well, that's Tim. And it's just a really fun thing to be able to, to challenge ourselves to do. It's our, it's our proof. The other cool thing about it is the clothing. You can totally customize every article of clothing. You can customize the shoes separately from the top. You, and this is create a style. So it's this powerful tool that touches objects and clothing. You can pick different patterns, different parts of the clothes have different patterns you can put on it, and you can change the color of everything. So if you're like, hey, I like this pattern, but I think it needs to be more more blue, just for kicks. You so can you can like technically give them sweat stains if you really want to? If you're really ingenious, you can make them look horrible. Um, I find that I, I started putting cow print on everything, and it was pink and, and black cow print and blue and black cow print. But the cool thing is, let's say I customize a skirt, and I think it's the cutest skirt ever, I can share that with anyone on the sims3.com. So whether it's a perfect pattern that I made, or the outfit, or the entire sim herself, I can upload that, or the entire house that I'm playing. So the idea was, everything the player creates in the game, they should be able to share, and that was really important for us. And then ultimately, the heart of the game is the personality traits. So the personality traits, you can have up to five, and they range from everything from perfectionist, or artistic, charismatic, ch childish, so many. Evil, you can be evil, or a kleptomaniac, or a vegetarian, or unlucky. Some of them actually have very uh, strong gameplay benefits. If you are a workaholic, then you're not so stressed when you're working hard. If you are a bookworm, you read books faster than other sims. And some of them are just because they make us laugh. Like, if you're never nude, you shower with your clothes on. Now, the cool thing about the personality traits is that what you choose as your personality traits affects what your sim's lifetime wish could be. So she could choose to be a star news anchor or the emperor of evil or maybe just super popular. I aspire to be super popular or a gold digger or the master of the arts. and you. As a player, you can pick one, and you're setting their life destiny. And that, in a nutshell, is create a sim. All right, and how long would it take you to like you know, grab someone on your team and kind of narrow it down, give them the outfit, and like just create that character exactly? It, I've been able to make somebody that I'd be like, oh, I'm really proud of them. Like, this holds up. It took me six hours. There's some people on the team who can do it in 20 minutes. With the many things. It requires an eye and some skill. I'm not really good at making sims that look like other people, but it's pretty impressive because sometimes it's just like that little rotation or a tweak and you're like, that is so that person. And, and then you show it to them and they're like, oh, you made me. I don't know how
how I feel about that. Oh yeah, a little creepy. All right, thank you so much for showing us the character creator. Thank you.